Oh, there you are, YouTube. We are gonna do a random ranking, and what that means is I go to my movie collection, I pick out three films with my eyes closed at random, and then I rank them from most favorite to least favorite. Now, when reorganizing this space and everything that you see behind me, all these movies, I today found a grouping of films that I did not put behind me. I have now put them on my shelf, but I think I'm going to specifically take from that pile of films that have not been in my movie collection for about, I don't know, five weeks because I forgot them. I lost them. They were with my television show DVD sets. I don't know why they were there, but that's where they were. So we are going to, again, as I said, just choose from those films. So let's get to picking those movies. Oh, I guess I should close my eyes. There we go. I said I was going to close my eyes. All right. One. I don't know. Why am I keeping my eyes closed? I'm not even looking that direction. All right. Another one. They're on the lower level. That was the only open space to put these movies. And then third one. Oh, 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 oh. sorry. Just jostled the camera there. Okay, let's take a look at what movies we have. Okay, a disaster film. Deep Impact. Is this the first or second one? First one. 21 Jump Street. And, oh, City Slickers. Let's get to ranking these movies. Okay, this is the order in which I showed them to you. I think first things first. I already know this one's going to go to the end. This movie, Deep Impact and Armageddon, came out around the same time, and I was an Armageddon guy. I think there were some Deep Impact people out there. I don't know them, but for me, when it comes to disaster films and, uh, you know, from this time period, late 90s, what was that, mid-late 90s, I'm going to go with Armageddon. Deep Impact never really resonated with me so much. It has a nice cast. Oh, look, Lily Sobieski. Don't see her very often anymore. Morgan Freeman, Taya Leone. Who do we got there? Duvall. Who's that person laying down there? What is that, one of the Baldwins or something? Who is that? Oh, music by James Horner? Oh, wait, I know who that person is. That guy was on ER. He was like a paramedic on ER, and then he was on a show called... Uh, men Behaving Badly, if I remember correctly. But anyway, this movie, just not for me. There's Elijah Wood, also. He's in it. I think he was probably there with Lily. Yeah, right there. Look at him, that Frodo-looking guy. Yeah, so Deep Impact is not for me. So I'm going to put Deep Impact over here. Um, it's still in our collection because um, I like to own movies, and my wife likes this one, but she's more of an Armageddon fan, but she does like this one. Now, here it is. Uh, an absolutely hilarious movie, an absolutely hilarious movie from my childhood growing up. I did not really watch uh, 21 Jump Street, the show, very much. Um, I have a friend who's very much into it, and I've mostly seen the, the show. What I've seen of the show is mostly from her, because she watched it quite a bit. Uh, but for me, I don't have like much nostalgia for the show at all. So for me, it's just the movie. I love this movie. I think it's absolutely funny. Uh, uh, the, the pairing here with with uh, Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum is just fantastic. They, they do great. And this sort of kind of put Channing Tatum on the map beyond, uh, you know, just sort of his, his niche fan base. This gave him a little bit more uh, worldwide recognition, I would say. Um, but yeah, this is this is a fantastic and absolutely fun movie. Um, I wish they would keep making these. You know, I'm sure they've probably grown out of it. It's not really like their style anymore. But I would I would like to uh, I like to see more of those. And in if you've seen the sequel, you know they kind of made fun of making more and more of them. So it's probably not going to happen because they spoofed the idea of making more of them. Uh, City Slickers, though, grew up with this film, and I love this film so much. Uh, Jack Palance right here, he won an Oscar for his role here in City Slickers, which is kind of cool because this isn't really an Oscar movie. It's, you know, I mean, that's kind of funny to say because he, Billy Crystal's hosted the Oscars so many times. 
but you know it doesn't feel like an Oscar movie to me anyway it is a fantastic movie uh, like I said grew up watching it the opening credits has like this cartoon in front of it similar to uh, Christmas Vacation which I've never really been into I used to fast forward it as a kid uh, I like the one in Christmas Vacation more, but this one, I don't know. When it comes to that cartoon opening, wasn't really my thing. Where's Daniel Stern on this cover? Daniel Stern is a hilarious legend. Why isn't he on here? That makes me sad. At least his name is right there, front and center. Um, let's see. Is Daniel Stern... Is Daniel Stern's not even on, ba on the back. What the heck? Is he right here? No? Oh, that's so sun-bleached. I need to get that fixed. What? No Daniel Stern. Uh, but anyway, love this movie. This is not something I could watch easily as an adult, though. I've become so, I don't know, emotional towards films with animals. And the cows, just the distress that, you know, you see them in. Were they in real distress during the making? I don't know. I'm too scared to look it up. But even though I, like, have a tough time you know, watching this as an adult, because any any film with animals is tough for me uh, when animals are in distress. Um, I think I'm going to have to put this up front because of the nostalgia and how much I loved it. There are so many good jokes in this movie. Give it a watch. Uh, 21 Jump Street, absolutely famous. Absolutely famous? I meant to say fantastic. And then this one, you know, kind of goes down here. Not, not so much for me, but, you know, whatever. It, it's fine. It's just no Armageddon, am I right? So here we go. This is the ranking. City Slickers, 21 Jump Street, and Deep Impact. If you've seen any of these movies, what'd you think of them? And if you've seen all three of them, how would you rank them? Thank you so much for watching this vlog, and perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.